Hi, I'm Simon Ravenscroft at National Refrigerants, and I'd like to welcome you to this short guide on the refrigerant R1234YF. Back in 1940, Packard was the first car manufacturer to install air conditioning into cars using the refrigerant R12. R12 is a CFC, a chlorofluorocarbon, a compound consisting of chlorine, fluorine and carbon. Later in the 1970s, it was discovered that the chlorine element in CFCs had a deleterious effect on the ozone layer. So in 1995, the switch was made to R134A, an HFC, a hydrofluorocarbon, which no longer contains the element chlorine. So now we have this new refrigerant R134A that is no longer damaging the ozone layer, but unfortunately, the new refrigerant is a greenhouse gas which means it contributes towards global warming if it escapes to the atmosphere. The level that it contributes is measured by its GWP, its global warming potential. R134A has a GWP of 1,430. And to put that into some sort of context, CO2 has a GWP of just one. This makes R134A over 1,400 times worse than CO2. A new European directive introduced in 2006 was aimed at reducing the emissions produced from R134A in passenger cars. So in 2011, we saw the start of the phase out of R134A, banning the use of the refrigerants with a GWP higher than 150 in newly type approved vehicles, and subsequently leading to a complete ban in all new vehicles in Europe from 2017. However, all vehicles produced with R134A prior to this change may still continue to use R134A for servicing and repairs. R1234YF was jointly developed by chemical companies Honeywell and Comores and is part of a new fourth generation of refrigerant compounds called HFOs, hydrofluoroolefins. And in 2013, national refrigerants were chosen as Honeywell's R1234YF UK preferred supply partner. HFOs are unsaturated organic compounds composed of hydrogen, fluorine and carbon, which are unlike traditional HFCs that have saturated compounds. The GWP of these new HFOs is significantly reduced, with R1234YF being less than 4. Unfortunately, reducing the GWP has not been without its limitations. A lot of the new HFO compounds, like R1234YF, have been classified by ASHRAE as A2L mildly flammable. It is though important to understand that to some extent all things can be considered flammable. Even steel will burn if you get it hot enough. So while A2L refrigerants will burn, their burning velocity is below 10 centimeters per second, which in flammable terms is really quite slow. We do need to understand though that the HSC do not recognize mildly flammable as a safety classification, only flammable or not. So R1234YF has to be labeled, stored and transported as highly flammable. It is important to note that all of the car manufacturers have conducted extensive testing on the safety of R1234YF in cars and have concluded that its use in car air conditioning systems is perfectly safe. R1234YF is very similar to R134A and has been developed that way to work in vehicles with as little change to the system design as possible. There is, however, one fundamental difference that means they are not transferable between platforms. R1234YF is A2L, mildly flammable. So you must not attempt to use it in a system that has not been designed to use a flammable refrigerant. Likewise, you should not attempt to use R134A in any car that was designed and manufactured using R1234YF. Contaminating any air conditioning system with a refrigerant it was not designed to use will certainly invalidate the car's warranty. You will also be breaking the law. R1234YF has been introduced to protect the environment. If a car was manufactured using R1234YF in its air conditioning system, it can only legally be recharged using R1234YF. Thank you, and if you would like to know more, please visit nationalref.com or call us on 01455 630-790.